So here's a story about why you should not call last run on last run. So um, when I was in high school, I ski instructed on the, on the weekends. And then once I graduated from high school, I did it full time for a couple seasons. Um, didn't really know where I was going in life, but I decided to go to a trade school. And um, so that, like, as soon as I went into trade school, I did not ski for two seasons because I was in school. And then I came back, got a job for the mountain, did not ski a single day the whole year and a half that I worked for the mountain. And uh, which I know, funny, right? Like, you got to pass. But you just spend so much time up there that you're just like, I don't really want to be up here. So, you know, ski instructing kind of ruined skiing for me. So, but that was just me, not not giving anyone any hints that, oh, don't be a ski instructor. It's really fun, actually, but it just ruined it for me. But anyway, um, when I was in school, it was a year we had, like, that really big winter. That was, like, 2017, I think, where it was just a massive winter. So I left. I decided to better my life at, like, the best time we got uh, snow, so I kind of missed out on that, but it's all good. But anyway, yeah, so I went a solid three years without skiing after – uh, I came back from school and everything. And then last year in February, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll go ride with my friends. Like, and I had, since I'd, I'd left my job at the mountain, but I still had, like, some vouchers or whatever. And um, so I'd have to pay for a ticket. And um, my friends were like, let's go ride. Like, it, it'll be so much fun. I'm just, like, thinking to myself, like, ah, I don't know, man. I haven't been on skis in, like, three years. And... Don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. I was like a decent skier. I wasn't great or anything, but like I was able to ski pretty well. I mean, I taught people how to do it. So, I mean, I was somewhat decent, I guess. And like I would, when I was riding with my friends as a younger kid, I would like hit jumps and like boxes and stuff. And it was fun, you know, just fooling around. But anyway, so my 22 year old self was like, you know what? Let's get it. Let's go out. Let's have some fun. Uh, we got out there. We rode. Uh, and my, I felt like an old man because we only rode for like, I don't know, maybe four hours. And I was just like, oh man, I'm kind of tired. Let's go back. Uh, but we rode like the whole afternoon and, um, uh, yeah, so we were contemplating, uh, just going to the car and, uh, they were like, no, let's, uh, let's do our two for one. Cause you never want to call last run. I'm not sure if any of you guys know that whole thing but you never call last run. And then me, completely ob oblivious to the skiing life for the last three years, I'm like, yeah, last run, man. Let's get a good one. Uh, and then I was like, okay. So I just powered through like the park. This was at Canyon Lodge through Wonderland Park. If any of you guys know where that is, it's like the little baby park. So there's like little jumps and there's like a half pipe and like some rails and stuff. So uh, I'm like, yeah, like all excited. Uh, and did not even think about it. Like none of my friends called me out on it or whatever. So we go through the run. I hit like a bunch of the features. And then on the last thing I hit, um, I go on and do it like a sideways, uh, like a, well, I don't even know what you would call that, like a 50-50 grind. So you're like sideways. And I, I ski, so like I said. Um, but anyway, I hopped on, got too overconfident and didn't pop high enough. I just like got like my body moved and like my, my brain and my body did not communicate at all. So I um, go up, get on this thing, one foot gets on and I'm like, yeah, I'm in. But then I hear clink and then it's my uh, back leg and it hits the front of uh, the rail and it bucks me completely forward like a lawn dart. And I just hit the ground head and shoulder first and I get up. And I'm like, ow, oh, I do not feel good. And I'm like dizzy, like I might throw up. I was just like nauseous. Um, and then my buddy has the audacity to come down to me. And he's just like, hey, man, get out of the way. People are trying to ski. But at this time, I'm like on my knees. And like my skis are still clipped in. So I'm like all funny and like kind of on, on my knees and like my like one hand. Um, and my buddy's like, dude, get up people are waiting to hit the rail. I was like, dude, I don't care about those people. My shoulder's out. And he's like, how do you know? Like, I don't know what this feels like or not me or me feeling my chest or my shoulder and my chest. Like, don't you question me right now? Like pull my skis off. 
Uh, and yeah, like he just sat there and was like a disbelief. Like I was like lying to him or something. And I'm like, dude, like I am in serious pain right now. So I, um, I like, he got the skis off. I got up. I like, I kind of fell over and like, I was like low key hallucinating from how bad my shoulder hurt. And, um, yeah, we're like, he's like, well, do you want to ski down or do you want me to go down there and get ski patrolled? I was like, dude, I'll just ski down. So the, and like this whole time, my shoulder's out. Like I've never experienced this in, ever in my life. And uh, I ride down from the bottom of Wonderland, which is like another like mile maybe to Canyon. It's like really not that far, but you know, I still had to ski some, some ways. And I was just in pain. It was horrible. It was really bad. Then I would make it to Canyon Lodge. And I pop my skis off just to leave them there. Don't even care. And this is at the end of the day, the last run. And um, I walk into ski patrol and they're like, yeah, it's a liability. We can't pop your shoulder back in. We'll get you an ambulance uh, and drive you down to the hospital. I was like, no, not getting an ambulance because that's just like $15,000 that I don't have uh, to give to Mono County ambulances. So I was like, no, thanks. So my car was parked way down. Uh, it was probably because my buddy's got an apartment uh, like right by Canyon, but it's like a couple miles down to his, his uh, place. And that's, we didn't have to uh, get in line really. We just parked at his house and walked up. So I could not, could not even, I could not. And uh, we, uh, I'm sitting there waiting and like in agonizing pain, like, oh my God. Like, yeah. I'm walking around and like my friends are taking forever. So I'm like at this time, at this point, I'm waiting like maybe 35, 40 minutes for my friends. I'm like, I'm just going to start walking down. Like, I don't even care. And I start walking and then this like Yahoo was walking with his skis on his shoulder. And then I'm like kind of hunched over. The guy doesn't see me. And like someone like calls him like, hey, Bobby or whatever. And the guy's like, what? Turns around and he smacks me in the head with his skis. And I'm like, dude what the heck? Like you just hit me in the head, watch where you're going, like freaking out. And he's like, sorry, man. I was like, dude, I'm sorry. Like my shoulder's out right now. And like, I, I don't even know. And he's like, dude, do you want some help? I was like, no. So I just kept walking, slipped on the ice, uh, managed to get up, uh, about basically 45 minutes later to 50 minutes later, we drive down to the, to the hospital and I get to wait. And like, I'm like waiting where the patients are. And like, I just walked up like, hey, let me in, like in the ER, like my shoulder's out. <laughs> and uh, uh, the lady got me in. I waited maybe 10 minutes and the guy's like, all right, this is probably going to hurt. So just like hang in there. Uh, pops my shoulder in and uh, my shoulder felt like I got punched really hard, like like I got like a dead arm. So my arm was bruised for like days after that. I had to like wear a sling. And uh yeah, so that the moral of the story is don't uh, excuse me last run because you're gonna wreck yourself and it's gonna be painful. Someone's gonna hit you in the head with skis and it's just no fun. Don't do it. So that's my story, and I hope you guys enjoyed it.